next right hand exercise is all about timing and mental awareness. 120 BPM is 120 BPM every day of the week. And sometimes when we're playing, if we're on stage, we might be really excited and we might think 120 BPM, uh, that feels slow, let's play it faster. Or we might be really tired after a long day at work or it's your 25th show of the tour and you're feeling a little bit sluggish. 120 BPM might feel a little fast at that point, but beats per minute is one of the few things in music that is objective. So what I'm gonna work on with you today is all about mental awareness and mental focus. Of course, there's types of physical practice that we can do to make sure our technical facility is happening, but there's not a lot of ways that people really practice their mental awareness of time. So this exercise is exactly that. It's deductive metronome work. So I'm gonna play a pattern. I'm gonna put my metronome at 120 BPM and I'm gonna have a little kick snare, one, two, three, four, thing happening. And what I can do is this. Now I can take that exact same exercise. I'm just playing some random E7 thing with a steady right hand 16th thing going at 120 BPM. If I give myself half the amount of accountability and only give myself beats two and four, just the snare drums, what I have is half the amount of accountability but double the amount of mental focus to stay in time. So you can see physically with my hand, it's the exact same exercise, but it takes double the amount of mental focus for me to be able to stay in time. So I'm thinking about the subdivision much deeper. I'm having to think about the 16th note, the eighth note subdivision in my head. For me, I like to visualize the grid and then I feel the groove within that. So there's different ways that people talk about timing or groove or pocket. I'm not gonna go into that today. For me, the way that I play time is that I see the grid exactly in time, and then I feel music the way that I want it to groove, I guess. But in this mental awareness practice, it's the same physical exercise as at 120 BPM, but now you're giving yourself half the amount of accountability. So now I wanna show you even less than that. So now we have four times less accountability than before. This is just the snare drum on beat four. One, two, three. So right there, that sort of exercise, I'm having to think really deep the whole time. I'm having to really lock in my inner clock, my inner tempo, visualize the grid, internalize the grid, internalize the time. And my hands are still doing the exact same thing I was doing before, but this time around, I'm thinking much deeper and I'm connecting to the subdivision in a deeper way because I, it's more internal than the external accountability. First off, it's gonna help your time. That's enough. Second off, hopefully what it does is it raises your awareness of the subdivisions that everybody around you is feeling. For me, I'm always locking into the big beats of the kick and the snare, but then I'm focusing on how is the drummer or percussion player, if there is one, how are they feeling the eighth note subdivision? How are they feeling the 16th note subdivision? Is it exactly straight? Are they kind of pulling some things back? Are they loosely swinging something? That's gonna inform the way that I feel my subdivision and my awareness is gonna be made much more heightened because of these kind of exercises and it's gonna make you a much better player because you're gonna be able to lock into some of the musical aspects that actually are objective, timing. So find a metronome setting that's comfortable for you. 120 BPM seems like a pretty comfortable tempo in general and then cut it in half. Practice sitting at 60 BPM for a few minutes, just playing with backbeats. Use it as beats one and three. Use it as the end of four. I don't know, try playing around with it a little bit. 
adjusting your accountability point, and then give yourself even less. Try putting the metronome at 15 beats per minute. See if you can last two full measures staying in time. Then put it even less. Challenge yourself. Try to see how far you can go and how internalized you can make the timing. <laughs>